All aboard at the Hyperfixation Station, my name is Quinn, and I am really behind. There are four episodes out already of Volume 9, and I have not watched one! I don't know why I'm still hyperfixated. I've been making theories and memes and talking about it and everything, but I just have not been watching it for some reason. So let's do that right now. <laughs> I've rambled plenty in, in the trailers video and everything else, so let's just frickin' get into it in 3, 2, 1, boop! Nice short and sweet intro, right? <laughs> Sorry if the audio was this a little messed up. I don't have a, a mic yet and I don't have headphones. <laughs> this is the story of a girl who had a lot of problems. Okay, I'm ready. See the story of a girl cry for the angel. Are we, are we, oops, accidentally hit pause for a second. That's fine. Let's go right into it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I already talked about that this whole scene in the in my trailer rewatch of the trailers that I just did. She had never been done. Well not all of them were rewatches. So here we go. Seen all of this. Maybe the quality's like a little bit better or something, I'm probably not gonna notice the difference because it was a work in progress before or whatever, but uh and I don't tend to notice a lot of subtle differences. Um but I'm gonna do my best. I do- this does look really cool. I don't remember it looking this good. But I also have a poor memory! Oops, goodbye. And this is probably the only time we're gonna see Oscar this ball <laughs> here. we go. Bye! Wasn't that nice? <laughs> this is just cool. Using Oscar Penny and running against for the cliche in the air. Yeah, I think the, the audio of the thing is going to be a lot louder than the audio of me. And it might be a little off or distorted or something. Apologies ahead of time. But I just, I want to watch it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm actually, I'm really excited for this now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stuff we haven't seen. There's a thing on the screen. This does look really nice. Like that, just even that looks pretty. Maybe I just really love colors. <laughs> hey, there's the two suns. The, the gears and the cane, because I'm not stretching at all. I'm still interested by why the water is gold. Or whatever it is. Hang on, were those birds, did they have, were they have Okay, no, they're like the, the dodo birds or the squ squabble or something or other. I have mostly managed to avoid any sort of spoilers. But, you know, the trailer kind of gave away a lot of stuff, so there's nothing that I've seen that I really wouldn't have otherwise. I forget what those things are called. That was one of the things that's not really spoiled, but... It, it was told to me what that kind of animal is. I don't remember. And this time, I'm not going to be a dumbass and completely miss the fact that she's going in circles. It's interesting that this is like directly after she lands. I didn't expect it to be that soon. <laughs> me talking about Oscar. <laughs> to anyone who will listen. The tree comes to you. That's not really how most trees work. Well, I'm really interested to see how the volume is going to balance uh, dealing with the trauma of everything that's just happened along with what seems to be a setup for more of an upbeat kind of quirky return to form. Return to form of the speaking days, which isn't really form for Ruby anymore, but sorry if it's itching at my nose, it is facial tick. I can't help it. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez! 
strawberry and cheese taste good together, but this just looks like regular cheese in a shape. I, I could try! <laughs> I feel like a lot of this first episode is going to be stuff we've already seen in trailers. Um, so I don't have much to say right here. But. But you've done you've, a lot of stuff. It's weird that you've done. Uh, the themes of identity. That's a lot of things. I'm. We've seen so I'm little of littles, else. or I have so far. And to you, but I really like little so far. Purpose? No, no, that's. that's yes, it is. Name. Ruby Rose. The you purpose is to die. I'm still young, so not yet. So, do they name you at like a How certain like ritual? So creative. How does How does one... Little. I can't see a character do the this shrug without thinking of Oscar because that's <laughs> one of his things. I'm... God damn it, my phone is buzzing. That's gonna fuck the audio. Humans like me, exactly like you. No, not exactly like me. We were similar, but different. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll make sense eventually. So cute. Um, one would have long blonde hair. The other has, well, uh, uh, cat ears. <laughs> Sorry, I, I should have known. I've seen plenty of cartoons. Well, I've never seen anyone who does or doesn't look That's like That's a confusing me, line. <laughs> That would just mean you've never seen anyone, right? Wait, let me hear the repeat of that, actually. My village has. Or does it look like you? But maybe someone in my village has. They're always out foraging. You know, since we need food and stuff. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, a few more of these wouldn't hurt. All right, and this is where the trailer cut off. You really think it's around here somewhere? Like, I wouldn't exactly say I'm certain about anything. And Weiss, I guess they landed near each other somehow, but they told them. Okay, I, I've already gone on about how there's like a retcon in, and in, not in a bad way, uh, in the beginning of this episode, like the the trailer thing they showed, because in volume eight, Ruby and Blake are like falling together and they're basically holding on to each other the whole way down. Uh, and in this, they kind of split up and are apart. But even so, Weiss and Blake falling and ending up in the same place? Weiss was one of the last to fall, right? Yeah. But Blake and Ruby fell really early. Why Why are those two near each other, but Ruby and Blake aren't? <laughs> I guess that could be considered part of that retcon or whatever, but I don't know. Ah, I was kind of hoping to see the characters, like, reunite, like, you know, like, oh, who's going to meet up first? How long is it going to take for them to find the way back? Like, what kind of interesting uh, dynamics will we get from that? But it might just be that they kind of meet up really quick, somewhere? and I've been building I that up in exactly my mind. I exactly say I'm certain about anything at the moment. I like these little Campbell dudes. Shroud, though, after you and Ruby. They don't really? seem too shook up right now. <laughs> has there been, like, a time skip? Because they were just, like sobbing and oh no penny's dead and all this chaos and now we're falling and atlas is... they think it's around here somewhere and now they're just I like exactly say I'm so we had a GPS. at the moment Gamble god damn it, i keep talking over it i'm so sorry i wouldn't exactly say i'm certain about anything at the moment gamble shroud fell after you and ruby but before i did mm. and we found each other so just off screen we found each other how i want to see that come on you can't deny us of the reunions I mean, I'm sure we're gonna get a B reunion, but come on, friendships matter! Oops, accidentally muted it. So, what is this place? I don't know. None of my guesses really make sense. Still, say them out loud. Like, I wanna hear. I'm really glad you're okay. Aww, good. I'm really glad you are 
that too. I'm looking forward to connections this volume. And if we are, then that means Yang and Ruby might be. Might be. Boys, can you... What happened after we fell? Yes, good. Okay, here we go. We should focus on finding everyone else first. Why? I think I see something! Well, that was I easy. Guess it could have been worse. Well, I mean, well, these are clearly the killer vines. You really did spoil that wasn't a lot. An invitation, wise. Sorry. Wait, I'm so I keep talking over things, but that's okay. I feel like I'm doing okay with the balance of talking and pausing because I do go back and I do make sure that I hear the things that I missed with my silly talking overness. It'd be not a format that a lot of people like in a reactor, but I do because. I just don't like it when people are watching the thing and they just are adamant about not pausing or going back and then they end up talking over and missing whole things, especially when they're just like, oh, who is that actor? They were in, uh, no, no, what was it? No, I don't need to pause. What was the, the, the one? No, not that. No, that was so-and-so. This is, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, now that I've said that, I, the entire rest of the reaction, I'm only going to think of them as this guy and not get invested in what their actual character is. I'm going on a ramble. ADHD, hyperfixation. I'm gonna hit play again. So sorry. See something. I guess it could have been worse. Well, good news. I'm low on dust. That wasn't an invitation, mm. Weiss. It's gonna take me some getting used to to how uh, crunchy rolls, how far back and forward they skip. I'm used to the root I side. guess it could have been worse. Guessing it could have been worse. Good news or not. Okay, it wasn't well, an invitation. Well, I'm low on dust. That wasn't an invitation, Weiss. Sorry. <laughs> Glad we're getting some monochrome crunch at moment. You can just use your glyphs and slice them up, right? <laughs> that looks like a much more dramatic moment. <laughs> Are you just in like some hardcore like dissociation denial right now? Because like you were sad a second ago, but like brushed it off, and now you're just like, yeah, woo, killer vines, silly shenanigans, dude. You just watched the Effie. You just saw, huh? <laughs> this isn't me hating on the thing. I'm sure that there's going to be. Well, I'm not sure, but there might be like explanations or it might become more clear as the as the episode or volume goes on like why there's such a sudden tonal shift and so much like emotional whiplash going on uh because you know there can be reasoning for that it's all gonna depend on the execution but at the moment i'm a little bit thrown i do like the weiss jumping up and down that's very cute and definitely will be a gif and or meme probably already is i mean not will be because duh uh i'm behind also the fact that the killer vines have like they're curled on the trigger that has me concerned guns don't kill people killer vines do uh, i hate living in america i want to see her jumping again and just try to appreciate, much like with the Penny moment when she like jumped around giving people hugs after being transformed, trying to put aside my confusion and just enjoy, hey, look, this is a cute moment. I'll enjoy that cute moment. But what it, usually when I do first watches uh, with Ruby, I tend to like try and appreciate it the way it seems that the writers wanted me to, you know? I mean, if something's confusing to me, I'll still say it. Usually on the second watch, like that I do immediately after my first watch when I go back through and like look at stuff. That's when I tend to be a little bit more critical, not like on purpose of like, mm, let's look at all the bad things in here, but more just like, now that I'm looking at it a second time, I have more questions that were or weren't done answered or whatever, blah, 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 blah. So that's gonna be at the end because that's how the review things work. I'm so sorry, I paused and then just talked for a while. Let's actually get back to the action because I am invested. Interesting. That's right, I went back to see Weiss. I remember now. Huh? You were, like, cheering prematurely there, right? The trap has been sprung! Gasp! Justice before thy prey! Are they talking? Not what I'm worried about right now! <laughs> right? They're not afraid of the cat ears, though. Are you drooling on me? 
<laughs> Just a little draw. Tell us some fun of it. That's an interesting your cat friend. thing. Are you the only one afraid? <laughs> of the cat? We must our what is happening? I didn't Am I high? She sad. I feel like I'm gonna ask that a lot this volume. I didn't know what to do because she looked sad. The family talked and she seemed less sad. <laughs> then she pulled the cheese out of the ground. <laughs> So big and strong, Ruby. You have our sincerest apologies. Please understand that our kind is a bit skeptical of cats and snakes and lice and cats. <laughs> okay, I guess they were afraid. Yes. It's just we the truth. Have you seen anyone else who looks like us? Long blonde hair looks kind of scary, but isn't. But could be if she wanted to. She is. I'm sorry. Yang is scary. <laughs> Do you remember the way that she yelled at Oscar in the snow when Oz was there? That bastard! Tell him we're not done yet! I was like, oh god, flashbacks. <laughs> Terrifying. Yang scares me. Not in a, oh, she's a scary bad person way, just in a, I would be on edge very often if I were around her. We would bond over puns, though. That would be, that would be our glue. I love Ruby's little smile there. She could if she wanted to. She can, yeah. Huh? What did you say? What did you, Ruby? Mutter to yourself, please. Yes, tell me. Thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. Aww. Before all of this, I was trying to go to that cliff over there. See, this is what I, I you're going to hire what I mean about how it was like, oh, I wish Ruby's reaction to Yang Falling had more uh, focus. Not necessarily that she had had like a bigger reaction or whatever, but just that you know, her worrying about, oh my god, my sister just died, had been more of a focal point, because as soon as they fall into here, it's like, Ruby! and like, as soon as you fall, it's like, oh, I'm alive, Yang might be alive too, so it's like that, that fear and that, oh god, my sister's dead, isn't something that we got to explore, but that's more of just something that I would personally have liked to see as someone with a sister, just like, oof, I could, that would hit me in the feels, but my parents go here. Before all of this, I was trying to go to that cliff over there. I figured going to higher ground and getting my bearings would be good. You can Sounds like the best option burst. for now. If you want to go to the cliff, I can help with that. Oh, I don't really have anything to do yet. <laughs> the cat and mouse are both afraid of each I other. Can be your trusty guy. Except you're wrong. <laughs> Very trusty. Aww. She's already so far. Why don't you they squat around at a rocking horse fly? Those things are freaking adorable. Hold out your finger and let it land on it and like little rock back and forth. Weiss, you do not appreciate the wildlife of Wonder Hell. Or, I guess we can figure it out ourselves. At least they got us to this path. We need to hurry. Yang's been down here the longest and we still haven't found her. Mm -hmm. Weiss, I was wondering, if you fell... Are there others down here too? Yes. What happened? Yes. Cinder exploded a bunch of people and then they fell into the void. I thought Miles said something about how they weren't going to show up again. But it's cool that they mentioned it. That's a nice continuity thing. I was a little bit disappointed when, I, when he was like, oh yeah, they're not going to be in volume nine. It's like, well, where did they go? Are there no consequences to Team Ruby and Co. forgetting about Cinder entirely? I'm still confused why they forgot about Cinder, especially Emerald. Like, you're on the team now? Did you, like, uh, let's, you, you, you forget Cinder exists? <laughs> or, I mean, maybe they'll do a thing about, like, oh, she just didn't, she was afraid to bring her up because she doesn't want to have anyone go against Cinder. I need to focus more on this episode. I just have so many thoughts and this is spurning them and I haven't talked in a while. It's been a while since I've done Ruby videos, you know? Are there others down here too? What happened? Wait. I don't know if anyone else fell. No. I think we should find Yang. 
What do you if mean you don't know? Don't Didn't you see that? Then get Didn't over you everything. all see that? I just... Were you talking about some other types of people or like people before? Or... I don't know. Um, hello? Sorry, I didn't understand what you just said. Seeking. Searching. Hello? I appreciate the alliteration. Trippin', oh, stumbling, oh, oh, that's right, you don't have crescent rose. The most, the, the second most uh, emotional Ruby reunion in Wonder Hell is going to be Ruby and Yang, and the first most emotional is going to be Ruby and Crescent Rose. Bubblebee's going to be up there too. Especially based on the trailer that basically gave away a, a moment. Do you think that's, that's not very nice? Dang. Thank you. I need to- are there subtitles? Because I need to put them on. Hmm. Guess not yet. Rooster Teeth, you are a big company. You have money. Please pay someone to do proper subtitles for accessibility. Pretty please. Thanks. Bye. Oh, it's Yang. <laughs> and the arm is gone. Okay, so that already happened. Yang! Okay. I, the, I, the, 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 I'm sure everyone has noted this already, but definitely big vibes of uh, Beacon when they first became partners with Blake or Yang fighting the Grim and then Blake kind of coming up from behind and getting it. And now it's the, the inverse. Is you okay, girl? Yeah, damn it! Ooh, ooh, yay! Thanks. We weren't supposed to be here. What? If you thought we wouldn't come for you, then you must have forgotten you raised me. <sighs> what happened to your arm? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Why is that I meant to be a who raised me as in you, or a who raised me as in our mom, Summer Rose? I'm not sure, but either way, that's really cute. But also, why aren't you hugging? Then you must have forgotten. Me. I don't know, there's something to... about this moment as well that just makes you know how much older Ruby's gotten, you know, how much she's grown up. Her relationship with Yang before was very different. And that, that little moment of, you must have forgotten who raised me, who, whoever she's talking about. It also might be Ty, but Ty, I think they talked about, was pretty absent for some parts of the childhood. Something about Ruby here is making me go, God damn. She wasn't the same girl anymore. Yeah. Then you must have forgotten who raised me. <sighs> what happened to your arm? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Why not? You seem trustworthy. Oops, oops, I hit a button that skipped ahead. Oh no, it didn't, it just muted. Um, <laughs> sorry. But, um, if you I already forgot what I was gonna say. You, but she said a thing that she said me. before. Oh yeah, the you wouldn't believe me if I told you stuff. Y'all need to stop saying that. I don't know if it's meant to be a character quirk, but like... Y'all are gonna be- There are gods. There's magic. There's all sorts of shit that you guys have found out. And the, the whole you, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. That's right, yeah, yeah, Yang said it to Fiona on the things when they were talking about like, oh, Oscar got kidnapped by a giant Grim. He wouldn't believe me if I told you. Warn them that there are giant talking Grim. Warn them. <laughs> Tell them. It doesn't matter if they believe you or not. Get the information out there. She's probably going to say it in a second, but still. <laughs> I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Why not? You seem trustworthy. 
Uh, Ruby? <laughs> what is that? Oh. I'm surprised she didn't do that sooner. Cute. I sort of thought you'd be a little happier to see us. I am. It's just... Right? Hello, where's the Fraser Burn reunion? Bad, huh? What did you say? It must have gone pretty bad. I am. It's just... It must have gone pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Most of that list did not make it. If Cinder was right about they say that was nice. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, so fine. Okay, is she gonna be like thinking about her home and stuff? Nice. <laughs> Everything happened so fast. No one came back from Vacuo to help. Yeah, they could. And Penny, she, she oh. tried to help, but she oh, sacrificed her. herself. Oh, Jesus. No, what? That's not the end of the episode, is it? No idea what happened to Relic. Wait, or what wait. Happened. Words. No idea what happened to Relic. Or what happened to everyone in Vacuo. Or where Neo is. Maybe everyone... I would like to know what happened to everyone in Vacuo. Quinlan, me. Would like to know. I would like. I would like to know very much. I don't know, but I have a bad. Oh my God! Little yeah. is banning Ruby with the leaf. That's so cute. Maybe everyone else made it. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling. Neo's here too. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you all right? She attacked me when we were falling. Okay. Ruby's weapon is still missing. Ruby, you're yeah, not exactly. answering the question. Away. Ruby, you're still freaking shutting yourself off. Which was a uh, theme in the trailer. Okay, so Ruby just freaking fainted. We gotta let me let me just process that. It was at the mention of of what had happened to Penny, and that brings me back to the dojo scene in Volume Five, where Ruby, for the first time, opens up to someone in person about the fall of Beacon and talks about her trauma. And she's telling Oscar about Penny and how it's like every day she wishes she had spent more time with her and that she thinks about her just all the time and stuff. And then Penny came back. She got a second chance and she kind of in some ways took it, not necessarily took it for granted, but didn't seem to appreciate it as like a big miracle or, or anything. And so now knowing what she heard from Pietro about how he can't bring her back again. I mean, it was a little vague. He started crying in the middle of it. So it's hard to know for sure. But I hope they don't bring Penny back. Please don't. That would be such a narrative bad decision. Ugh. I mean, I'd say no way that someone would make that bad of a decision. But that's what we said about Penny dying a second time. And then she did. Maybe I'll cut that part out. That sounded a little mean. I Whatever. Shut up. Shush. 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 What well, was I thinking about? Oh yeah, just thinking about the dojo scene, like that was so impactful for Ruby was with Penny and now Penny's gone again and that oof, that oof. So that was Ruby's reaction to what happened to Penny. She freaking fainted. And that's adults in my heart it hurts. Nice. Hi. Everything happened so fast. No one came back from Vacuo to help. And Penny Oscar tried. Sean tried to help, but she sacrificed herself. <laughs> Sean did a bad time trying to help. No hate. No idea what happened to Ellen. Or what happened to everyone in Vacuo. Or where Neo is. Maybe everyone else made it. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling. Neo's it's just here nice too. seeing all their colors together again. Hey, are you alright? attacking when we were falling. <sighs> okay. Ruby's weapon is still missing. Yang's arm was stolen. I think we focus on getting everything back. Then we can figure out exactly how to get out of here. Look at you, Blake. Wherever here is. But what if we can't mm -hmm. leave? Or what if what if we're dead? Shit. Found me, I you just sure. fucking said it, huh? <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to go there. 
I like that. Until you all found me, I thought for sure I was. No. Hmm. I don't think we're dead. Ooh, this music. I'm gonna have I to look up I know how this sounds, but... I think we're in a fairy tale. Like... Like, bring out your fairy tale knowledge. You just... Is that the end of the episode? Ooh! Oh, right! Intro! Okay. Oh, we're opening up with John first. Makes sense. Okay. And we got all them. And then we I bet all the Silent Night shippers are gonna be happy about the John and Neo next to each other there. I have no idea where they're going with Neo. Oh, interesting. Hang on. Maybe I'm gonna do the thing where I write down what I think the lyrics are. Because I always get the lyrics wrong to Casey songs. So we'll see, but... Blake is a little smart. Ooh, ooh. I didn't process they were all going through the different outfits for a second. I don't know why I didn't process that. I think I did, but not in the front of my brain. I will go through this in a minute. Whoa. Oh, that was like, oh, oh, that was also like the fairy tales animation. This is just like being dragged through it all. Ooh. Whoa. Whoopee. Oh, I love all this. Wait, no. I'll go back through it in a minute. That book, hang on. I love the lead of The Girl Who Sold Through the World. I definitely need to listen, look up the lyrics for this because I do not trust it. You were the one in the trailer. With the with the Ozma colors. Which the book also had to like specifically I need to look at something. Holy heck. Well, that sure was an intro. A lot of that was indeed re showing us a lot of trailer stuff. And also, the reunions were. I don't want to sound mean, but they were incredibly underwhelming for me. Uh, and the tone felt a little bit all over the place, but I feel like that's going to be. Like, I feel like that was intentional and that's going to be like thematic of the volume. Um, so we'll see how that goes in the future. Look at this concept art, it's beautiful. The voice acting is better than it, than, uh, it has been in, the, in a while, I feel. What is that thing? I just, there's so much that they just threw at us this whole, <laughs> this whole time. Ah, okay, the, or this whole episode. I need to rewatch. A hundred percent I need to rewatch. I did like it, just to be clear. The reason that I was saying, like, critique thoughts is just because they came to me, they stood out as the bits that didn't click for me, whereas most of the episode very much is, is making me more interested in, in watching this volume, just like with the trailers. Because, like, that was a lot of the reason I wasn't super interested in the volume, is because we didn't know anything. I was interested in the characters in Vacuo because they're the ones who had character arcs set up in Atlas that I was interested to see follow through. And I really hope we don't do a time skip and then just kind of act like they had those off screen, or even worse, have it be, like, what they went through in volume 8 was the conclusion of those arcs, like with Nora and finding out who she is, but I feel like that, that can't be. But then again, I said that about Ren with his whole no one is replaceable thing suddenly making him disagree with his earlier opinions. I really like how they, they open up the volume with the this is the story of a girl thing. Uh, you know, being this is the, the girl who fell through the world. I need to pull up real quick because there is a book that Oscar is reading the first time we hear him like talk back to Oz and it is green and gold and I just wanted to double check yeah there's the book let me just check and see if it is feasible it was in the intro oh right I gotta rewatch the whole intro duh so we've got 
Jean crying with his broken bloody sword. Cool. Neo making an expression I can't really figure out. Yang looking angry, Weiss looking stoic, Blake looking also angry. God damn, the shade on Blake's boobs just really, really exacerbates <laughs> the weird cat suit the way that it sticks. Um, anyway, I really love the colors in this opening. And then there's Ruby. Is that silver eye light that's going on there? I mean, her eyes are closed. But... And that, is that Ruby falling through the world and land? Yeah, it's so interesting. There's so much to dissect in this intro. The intros of Ruby are really fun to dissect, even if sometimes they make me think of theories that are more complicated than what we actually wind up getting. But that's okay. That's, that's how theorizing works. Okay, so that was Bl- wait, hang on. I saw, I think, blue and white go over there, but that's not... Yeah, okay, light blue and a darker blue. And I could see Weiss being the light blue, even though her color is white, but... Who's the darker blue? Maybe that's not them at all. I don't know. <laughs> who would... Well, or not even who, but what could that be? Is that maybe the other people who fell that they were referencing? That they'll find later? Hmm. Really cool leaves, and I love the door, obviously through the rabbit hole and all that stuff. Um, love this, love the way that they're creating it. Oh right, lyrics. So then, even though they had audit reprocessing disorder, you know, because of the ADHD, and had lost their headphones, also because of the ADHD, Quillen tried to decode the lyrics. Yeah, it didn't go. Well, it went about as well as you'd expect. Gasping sight on two memories. <laughs> casting aside, casting sight on. Casting. Gasping sight. Gasping sign. What? What is one? I sleep with Venice, but Venice is blind. <laughs> I'm sorry, Casey, I can't understand you. Mustard advantage. Mustard with advantage, but advantage is blind. Take like advantage. So at that time, it sounded like vengeance. Vengeance is all the time. I don't know. Let's look at what's going on in these clips, though. So obviously, I, it's really interesting the way that Ruby is facing away. Is this the the original girl who fell through the world, or? Or the white rabbit, or something else, or both. Arthur meme. Teardrop that becomes Carson Rose. Your tears will find a tree to water, but only when you're struck. And look, it it, it bloomed a rose. Your tears, it's a crescent rose. Uh, there's a blacksmith in the back with that little transition. There's the raccoon who collects the trinkets. There's whatever those are. And the the king, I, or the the whatever monarch, uh, but at least we're seeing them from the front this time. And there's Crescent Rose again. Interesting that they're so prevalent. Okay, they're being led by the the girl. <laughs> what is this dude? He looks so out of place. <laughs> Look at his little face. What is he? It's just a little Lego man, but with a circle. What? Oh, and the cat. And then these dudes. And this is very much the fairy tale room. And there's Ruby like lagging behind in all of this, and I think that's really interesting. I feel like she's getting farther apart from them. And like, slower and more dragging. And I think that's probably like the whole weight of your burden, leaving the really rose behind thing. Oh hey, there's the, the caterpillar from Alpha Wonderland. Okay. This is interesting. All the clocks and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna be messing around with time or anything, but usually the clocks like overlaid and stuff like this just make you think of Oz pin. So, but I don't think that's what we're doing here. So I'm wondering what's going on with John and Time. This looks cool. This looks like um a level of marble blast at one game. I don't know. Super balls. Oh come on, let me see. Oh that's neat. 
maybe it's Neo or maybe it's like a, a clone version or something. Who knows at this point? Ooh, rainbow tea. Neo day confirmed. Hey, Neo. It's so creepy. Rainbow. So let's look for this here. Who are all of you in the back? I must know. Is there anything on that, those pages that's readable? Probably not. There's you. Okay, okay, okay. There's- Oh! It has the tree on it as well. Okay, so that looks like the book that Ozpin was reading the fairy tales from in the Fairy Tales of Remnant series. But also, doesn't it kind of resemble the book that Oscar's reading here? What are we having? Doesn't matter. We're eating it. I never agreed to these terms. Okay, now he's gonna close the book. Eesh. Yeah, see, dark green and gold. Oops. Uh, yeah, dark green and gold. Does it have little things around the edges? Maybe that's only on the front though. So I don't know. There's, ooh, little notches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm gonna count it anyway. No, it looks like in this one the gold is on the outside and the green is on the inside. So maybe never mind. <laughs> not sure. Probably not, but you know, I don't know. It is interesting. Uh, but now let's go back through the the intro because there's a lot to dissect that I haven't yet. So let's keep going. I'm not going to spend too much time because I really do want to just watch the next episode. It's interesting, they're all getting faster and they're just getting slower. Are they running towards something? Or um, something? Ooh, who will I find? Oh my gosh, that's very fear. Who will you see? That bit from... An Oscar song, end of volume seven. It's all about like, who will you see? Who will you be? So, what are you gonna be? Ooh, the book goes on fire. That's for fun. And then there's what everyone has told me is probably Jean, I'm assuming, because like, look at it, but who knows? So, this is interesting too. <laughs> when you're climbing the deck, you can. falling through all this. This is very cool. Whoever put together this intro, very good job. Look, the little girl with her pretty eyes. That's that's real cute. Okay. There's so much to unpack. And I will unpack not much of it. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that Neo is so much of... It's interesting that Neo fades to a girl. So is Neo the girl who fell through the world of this one? Not actually Ruby, and that's part of the... I don't know if it would be a twist or what, but... She's got a bunch of colors. And the little rabbit. Okay, so, you know, white rabbit imagery and stuff. Um, I really do like the bow. She has a, I love this character design. But again, the colors, it's the Osmo colors. I don't know what else to say. And it's got little crosses on it too. Oh, there's, hey, there's Crescent Rose. They just walked on up. All right, uh, I don't really know what else to say that I haven't. Or well, let me actually, go back through the stuff that haven't seen. Most of this was in the trailers. Gamble Shroud fell after you and Ruby, but before I did. And I'll have to rewatch the the that that whole sequence of falling to see like what the different characters would have noticed or whatever. Because I'm not fully remembering. <laughs> I remember Weiss used Gamble Shroud. I don't so know. it makes sense that she knows me. None now. of my guesses really make sense. None of my guesses really make sense. And then later she says, I think we're in a fairy tale. I mean, honestly, not much makes sense. Like, so go for it. Just say all your ideas. Brainstorm. No bad ideas and brainstorming, Blake. I love her little ear twitches. I'm really glad you're okay. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it happened after we fell. We should focus on finding everyone else first. I think I see something! That was a, kind of a quick, weird I transition dialogue. I don't know. Not what I'm worried about right now! Like, you have shadow clones, can't you just kind of poop poop? 
because I don't know the whole physics of how those work, but... I love Little. I didn't know what to do because she looked sad. But then we talked and she seemed less sad. What a concept. I mean, they didn't really like talk in depth about their feelings or whatever, but if you want to tie that back again, if you want to brain rot, because I have brain rot, tie it back to the dojo scene where it's because Ruby had spent the last couple of volumes trying to like every time she would try to bring something up, it would kind of get shut down. So the only way that she was able to actually express what she had been through was in the letter. And then she was able to actually say it out loud because she she looked sad. Like she did the, you know, be combat ready in no time and then looked sad and then was like, well, I guess I'll see you upstairs or whatever. And then Oscar was like, stopped her. And then was like, no, how are you handling this? And then she goes, what do you mean? I don't know, like we just have to press on, it'll all be okay. And then he just kind of yells at her and this is like freaking out. And it, you know, ends up with her like spilling the stuff and talking and then afterwards she like has a smile and like you know tears in her eyes and stuff but if you talk you feel better i hope and it seems that based on the trailer that's going to be a theme in this as well is she needs to face what she's actually going through and to not just keep being like oh i'm fine everything's fine i'm i don't i i don't have a burden i'm deal i'm chill <sighs> Ruby, you need to let yourself, you need to let yourself feel, girl. Wait, so if that was such a surprise, why were you trying to do it earlier? Understand that our kind is a bit skeptical of cats. Who are you? It looks kind of scary, but isn't. But could be if she wanted to. <laughs> Not could be, can be. And often she does. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't have much to do yet, and I'm still young, so I don't have a name. That makes sense, because the name is the purpose, right? Because that, like, the, like, how does one little, like, is assigning name to a purpose, which links in with leaving Ruby Rose behind, and what will happen if you don't, is Ruby has linked to herself both lineage about Summer, and also just, like, I'm a huntress, I'm the team leader, and as been said, the team leader is, like, perfect all the time, always at your absolute best otherwise you're giving no one a reason to follow you all of that with the whole your name is your purpose your identity is your purpose or you are what you do like if there's it's just very nuanced and complicated and i wonder how they're going to handle that topic i'm interested to see what happened i don't know if anyone else fell no i think we should find yang if she's even down here then we can go over everything I just... You just... what? What are you thinking about? Okay, yeah, there's this thing. What, what is this? It just kind of showed up and then was... Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you're valid to be afraid of whatever this thing is. It's okay, Ruby. You learned hand-to-hand -hand combat a little bit that one time. I'm very curious about it. What this is. Just throws a rock. I mean, I guess it worked. I wonder if Yang has her aura back yet or not. Yang! Damn it! Or any of them. You weren't supposed to be here. You must have forgotten your reason. That you weren't supposed to be here has extra weight if she, with the, now that you know that she thought she was dead. It was like, oh no, Ruby, you're here too. This wasn't supposed to happen. What is that? Okay, yeah, th this moment. Uh, Ruby? Maybe it's something about the what animation is that? or. <laughs> this is just so sudden, and it's like Blake was just standing there waiting to do that and then decided to leap, I guess, just then when she asks about Little. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I understand, like, for dialogue and plot reasons or whatever, but for character reasons. We should just stand in around and then like, yeah, this is the time. Whoop! Collapse. <laughs> I don't know, but this is a very cute moment. I like it. I thought you'd be a little happier to see us. 
Aw, Weiss. Poor Weiss didn't even get a reunion with her. Which sucks because the best reunion we have ever gotten in all of Ruby was the Freezer Burn reunion in Volume 5, Fight Me. That was so freaking cute. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Like, and now here they're just like, I thought you would be more excited to see us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like the Weiss-Yang uh, friendship kind of hasn't been uh, built upon since Volume 5, and I would like to see more of it. Because they have Damn. a great dynamic. It must have gone pretty bad, huh? Yeah, because y'all's plan was riddled with flaws. <laughs> but understandable, under pressure. Weiss. Okay, in this collapsing about the penny thing... Everything happened so good. fast. No one came back from Vacuo to help. And Penny, she, Sean tried to help, but she sacrificed herself. So is this directly related to what Weiss is saying, or is there something else going on? And it's incidental, but we think that it's directly related, but like it's going to happen more and more throughout the volume of her continuing to pass out. I don't know. You know, kind of like a Life is Strange situation. Hey, are you all right? She attacked me when we were falling. Yeah, that's not an answer. Uh, not exactly how to get out of here. Wherever I like this, but Blake is. is, is but you know, what if we can't thinking leave? things out and or being a little if, more confident? What if I think we're in a fairy tale? You were in the staff of creation. And stories are creations. So there's the the soldier who presumably John. But I don't want to jump to that, you know, because it, it might not be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the soldier who's maybe Jean is standing there by, I'm assuming that's a, a rabbit, like a white rabbit type of situation as well. Wasn't he like riding on like dog or something in the trailer maybe? I really like this portrait of Alice as well. I am sorry, there's just something about her that's so reminiscent of Salem and Ozma's children. I'm not saying I think it was intentional just it's interesting and then there's the the checker cat cheshire cat i'm interested that neo is so focal in this um i really don't know where they're going with her i don't know if they're gonna have her die i hope they don't have her join the heroes team because it's crowded enough already and we have so few villains left going on but i don't know how i would feel about her dying either i really i don't know I'm conflicted. I'm interested to see where they go with it. If that is trying to draw a connection between Neo and the, I'm assuming, is some form of representative of the girl who fell through the world, uh, if not the origin of, then we can assume that by the end of the volume, Neo is, would not be the same girl anymore. She's got a little bandage around her leg. The poofy sleeves. I, she's got such a good character design. This, this makes it look like she also just got washed up, like more recently. So maybe... I don't know. But yeah, great. Great start. Great first episode. Again, I'm not really sure where they're going with the tone, which I feel like a first episode should do, and I think Volume Mate's first episode did very, very well. With this one, it's, I don't know. I'm a little confused how they're gonna proceed with it, but I'm not gonna make any judgments before we actually see a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make a bingo board for this one because I feel like A, we saw most of the stuff in the in the trailers that would be anything to go on, and B, we also just don't have other stuff to go on. I don't know. I guess all the stuff on the bingo board would be like, like so-and-so character thing, you know? I like it a lot uh, that is making me look forward to the volume from this. I, I will say, though, that the reunions were underwhelming. Maybe just because we had built them up in our head during the two-year hiatus. Maybe because, repeatedly, the show seems to not have character moments be as big and impactful as the fandom tends to make them, or, or like, imagine that they will be, and stuff like that. Um, because it seems that the writers are more plot focused, although I've heard that this volume is supposed to be character focused, so it'll be interesting to see how they shift that, because usually they have plot driven narratives more so than character driven narratives, and I would love to see if they uh, start to adapt, adopt more 
of character of narratives because that's what drives a narrative. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm being too critical or, or whatever. I'm trying not to like judge it before it happens. I'm just, there's all these like gears turning about like previous volumes and writing patterns I've noticed and stuff. And so of course there are some thoughts of like, ooh, I, this could be good or this could be not bad, but like frustrating or whatever. So it's just like these different diverging thoughts of where it could go, but I feel like I'm just gonna squish those down for now and try and watch the next episode if I have energy. I'm gonna make food and then I'm gonna see if I can watch the next episode. Okie dokie, bye! Get off the train! <laughs> I don't know, I don't have an outro yet. I really should by this point, huh? All unaboard, all off. <laughs> I'll go. Get out of my station.